Mrs. Ramram, welcome to Times Network. We speak after a fair bit of Times passage, but uh, we we speak at a time when uh, some people say an inflection point has come in India's politics, and uh, many commentators writing it. Yesterday, one paper wrote that the government should look back in the mirror and uh, see its position vis-a-vis its claims apropos democracy in this country particularly because it's hosting g20 right now before i get into the party politics before i get into the legalese you are a master of that uh, i wish to ask you one thing you've been a parliamentarian for decades you've been home minister finance minister of this country probably the highest chairs that this country accords to a parliamentarian or a politician how do you weigh this message dambaram what is happening right now of course it is not happening for the first time but how do you weigh what has happened in the last week in the parliament with the disqualification of mr gandhi let me begin by asking you to keep the emergency out the emergency was an aberration and i think the shrimati indira gandhi and the congress party have acknowledged it was an aberration so keep that out barring the emergency this is the first time in india we are going through a phase of near autocracy as i said barring the emergency now i have been in parliament since 1984 and i've never witnessed a period of time when there is such a cynical approach to gov- to parliament by the government in my view the top leadership of the government simply does not care for parliament or their view of parliament is a a very different uh, body that simply stamps whatever the executive does like in many other countries parliament is a place for debate court is a place for inquiry investigation adjudication parliament represents the old greek ideal of a public square where plato and aristotle and others met and debated now we can't have public squares in india anymore although there is in the village today the village chowk which is a public square parliament is the replica of a public square and in that public square is silent silent in the sense that there is a lot of noise but there is no debate and who is instigating the noise it's the treasury benches i've heard arun jaitley say obstructionism is part of legitimate parliamentary tactics the present rulers have taken it a step beyond obstructionism by the treasury benches is part of legitimate parliamentary tactics it's a very very sad period for india uh that's that's the summation you make mr chidambaram uh the fact is that treasury will say that mr gandhi went out of the country of course this is not the only time it, when the treasury has probably disturbed the proceedings but in this particular case treasury's claim is that mr gandhi went out of the country defamed the country and hence they were demanding an apology much as you just as you were demanding an ajpc into uh, one particular business's affairs fine whether he defamed the country or not is a point of view it's not a judgment delivered by the treasury benches that's the treasury's point of view we have an exactly opposite point of view he did not defame the country in fact uh, there are occasions when the prime minister of this country the honorable prime minister has gone out of the country and said people in india are asking uh, what sin did we commit in the previous birth 
that we are born Indian. He said that. Nobody asked for his apology, be that as it may. The Treasury has a point of view. The opposition, including the Congress, has a different point of view. Debate it. Let the people judge whether the remarks made by Mr. Rahul Gandhi in England requires an apology. Let the people judge. How can you be judge, jury, and prosecutor? The Treasury bench says, I am prosecuting you for defaming the country. I am the jury. I will be the judge. I have pronounced a verdict that you must apologize. Please apologize. What kind of um, uh, parliamentary uh, tradition or parliamentary rule is that? Debate it. That's fine. But they say, to begin with, the opposition itself was not allowing a debate. No, they, that's not they, correct. You were obstructing the parliament for the with the demand of in the DPC. In the second session of the budget session, the second leg of the budget session, from day one, the obstruction and the noise is started by the treasury benches, even at 11.00 hours. I was there, and I saw the leader of the house stand up and... Uh, uh, start speaking in a loud voice and everybody joined the chorus. The second leg of the budget session. Mr. 